Dennis Bean from the camera. He's a tall artist. And where are you from, Dennis? Um, I grew up here in the Verde Valley. The Verde Valley? Yeah. What part of the Verde Valley? Uh, Cottonwood, Clark, Dale, Jerome. Oh, really? You actually went to high school and graduated? I did, yes. Where? where which one? At Mingus. Oh, Mingus. Oh, fantastic. It's nice to have so many local artists in the community that's actually doing pretty good. I see you have an array of different kind of art. This is pretty amazing that you have different kind of mediums here. I mean, you did all this? I did, yes. Wow. All the, all the paintings were done in last year, 2012. I took six months off last year and just did a, a painting uh, kind of vacation up in Montreal. So you, you do paintings, uh, uh, is, it, is that acrylic? What, what, it's not, what is it? It's both acrylic and digital. I, well, it is. I do the, uh, That's interesting. I do the uh, individual elements in a rough acrylic and then I take them into the computer where I do the fine tuning and Oh really? A lot of detail. Yeah. Oh, you shoot them. Did you, you you produce them for? Then you shoot them with the camera. Then then you, you produce them like this. Huh? That's pretty interesting concept. Pretty neat. I'm a decent painter, but I'm much better with the, the computer at getting into the fine details. So. So is that your forte? So you have a lot of uh, skeleton type of people on there. Yeah. It was, so. This was a day of the deadline. It's a really popular festival right now. It's becoming more and more popular. Disney's doing a movie about it later this year, so really? it's going to get really big. Oh, wow. So. so you got the right thing at the right time, huh? Yep. Well, I started this probably about five years ago. I'm mostly known for Day of the Dead and Sedona Landscapes. So oh, wow. I don't have the landscape back. So you got into jewelry also, huh? Yes, I do. Yep. Hmm. So you sound like you're a pretty busy man. I work a lot. You do like it? As if you set off camera, you actually do this six months, then you take six months off and you do a little traveling. I do, yes. So you're just seeing the country or seeing meeting people, or what are you doing? Uh, the last couple of year, years, mostly up to Montreal, because my fiance lives up there. Oh, really? So we go Ooh, back and forth. That's a, that's a long relationship. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Well, that would be fun, traveling back and forth. Back and forth to your fiance. But if you want to give out a website or address, something like that. Uh, uh, mostly message? I just do this on Facebook. It's uh, Facebook? Facebook.com backslash Dizzy Bear Creations, one word. So just Disney Bear Creations. Disney Bear? Dizzy. Oh, Dizzy. Okay, then Dizzy. Dizzy Bear Creations, yeah. And I understand you're actually actually making a living now. Yeah, for That's good nice to hear. Yeah. I mean, because I, 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 I interview a lot of artists. And I don't, I, maybe out of 100, maybe 10 artists are actually making a living out of 100 that are making a decent living out there, you know? <laughs> no, I started, I started doing creative type stuff when I was six, so. Yeah. I've had time to learn. <laughs> so you were raised here in the Verde Valley. You must have a lot of friends here. Here, um, I'm all over the place. Actually, all over the place. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Well, let me go, Dean. Uh, thanks a lot, and uh, hope this vineyard turns out pretty good here at Main Street. This is really nice of them to do that here. This, it is, yes. These people here, uh, Rebecca and Christopher. Thanks a lot, uh, Dean.